What's going on guys? I was trying to get this video out a few days ago, but I've been super sick, stuck in my bed and you know, couldn't really do anything. So I wanted to wait until I was healthy enough that I could set everything up and talk through what happened this weekend and kind of talk about my throws and uh, what was going on technically. This past weekend we had two meets, a uh, Friday meet and a Saturday meet. And each day we threw uh, shot and disc and shot and disc Friday and then shot and disc Saturday. So you know, it was one meet technically, but it was two meets. So for the Friday meet, my technique was just off. And looking back at my videos, I just see that my first move out of the back is that my hips start dropping back and that kind of sets up my whole throw. Um, even from the wind, like in like disc, when I wind up, I just, once I get the disc back, I kind of like drop and the hips start to go back. And then when I open, the hips are just going right into the middle of the circle. Where I should be continuing to keep my hips underneath me, stay tall and keep it really rotational out of the back. But you know, I'm diving to the middle and you can see like as I'm going to the middle, my chest is forward and the disc is kind of behind me. So it was just not setting up the throw well. And overall, the distances weren't terrible. Uh, but I definitely had a few things that I could have fixed. What was interesting is in warm-ups, I had a huge warm-up throw. Martin was out in the field, said that it was like 63 meters, and it was just nice and easy, but I just set it up. Technically, it was nice, and then after that, I was feeling good. I was ready to go, and I think that's why I started to rush, and I just started to you know, do things that my brain and my body tell me that like that's how it's going to go further if I try harder. And if I start to try to go faster, but when you try try harder and try to go faster, then your technique starts to fall apart. So, you know, it was not bad uh, for the Friday meet. And then shot put, same kind, of, same kind of thing. I see in my throw that, you know, as I start to enter my throw, my hips also dropping back. And then I'm just finishing super flat. So, Again, the distance wasn't horrible, but it wasn't great. And I definitely got a lot more in me. For the Friday meet, Sam Mattis was here throwing discus, who was NCAA champion a few years ago. And he had some big throws. He threw, I want to say like 63 and a half or so. And it was in a left-handed win. So if it was a better win for him, I think it could have been like you know, 65 to 67. So he was definitely ready to throw big, just the conditions weren't too great for him. And then for shot put, Chuck showed up to the meet. He was just going to watch. His elbow's been bugging him, so he wasn't going to throw on Friday. He's going to wait till Saturday, but then we were checking the weather, and it showed that Saturday was supposed to be lightning storms all day, so he decided he was going to throw anyway. He wasn't you know, wearing his compression shorts or anything. He's just you know, rocking his boxers and uh, ends up throwing and throws a great meet. He threw 20.99, which we all were laughing at just because, like, of course, he didn't get that one extra centimeter, which is kind of crazy. Continuing into the night, we had all the throwers come over to my place. We had some uh, chicken wings and fries. And while I was at Costco, I found this cake that says best wishes and then I got them to just write Chuck on it. So we just got randomly a, a best wishes Chuck cake. And then I had candles from a, an old art project that I melted down for the wax, but I had some of them that were just still full candles. So we put those in and it was his little best wishes cake. That's one thing everybody. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was killer. Best to Chuck. Best wishes to Chuck. Best wishes to Chuck. Best wishes 
Chuck. Cheers to Chuck. Actually, very good. And everybody else. <laughs> Super fun time with all the throwers, uh, never a dull moment. So Saturday as I was headed over to the meet, my stomach was turning, I felt like I was throwing up, and I didn't know what to expect going into it, but I know that sometimes the best days that I have throwing or the best days that I have lifting are just the days that I don't feel quite on. And I think it's partially because going into those days, I don't expect to throw far, so I know that I need to focus technically, and then focusing technically helps me throw further because you know I'm hitting my positions rather than trying to muscle a throw out when I'm feeling healthy and feeling strong or whatever it is but as I got there you know felt flat didn't have much adrenaline going and then I got talking to some of the high school throwers over there and some of you guys watch my videos thank you for coming up to me by the way that meant a lot as a content creator on YouTube trying to make these videos I do it to help people out and I do it for myself but to hear from some of you and meet some of you in person is super awesome and it gives me more motivation to continue to make these videos. So Saturday for throwing, we started with shot put this time instead of discus. And I've been working more and more South Africans into my throw or half turns. Um, but my half turns are kind of South African because it makes more sense to get the momentum going with the South African than you know, starting static with the half turn. So I've been trying to incorporate those more and those really help me feel the path of the ball and starting to get some lift on it. So I started working on those and my goal for the day was just think about that South African path that the ball travels on and get some lift on it. And even when I started doing fulls, I thought of just taking the initial turn out of the back where you turn to your South African position basically and then doing a South African. So it was like a full, but my thought process and timing was to make it like the South African and that was really helping me out. I was helping me get the helping me get the ball up on the throw so it wasn't as flat as my throws are a lot of the times and even now watching the videos back it's still way flatter than it should be so got to continue to work on that but I think if I can find the right orbit of the ball um, that'll help get better snap out of my hand and everything but it's coming along and I'm super excited it's finally starting to feel good and I'm starting to feel the ball snap out of my hand a bit more uh, it's getting a bit more height on it Still got some room to improve, but I think uh, some big things are coming with that. Up! And then we went on to discus after that. And same thing today, or that day, I guess, Saturday, I wasn't dropping my hip as much out of the back as my first move. Um, trying to stay more tall with my hips underneath me, trying to keep the disc with me, and I just need to continue to work and finish the throw. through not too bad it was my best meet for discus so far this year and best meet for shot put so it's coming i'm excited and i know some big things are coming for chuck he threw 21 22 the second day so he killed it he moved up to fifth in the world and here's his throw <laughs> Anyway, overall, things are really coming together. I'm excited. I know some big things are coming. I just got to keep grinding and keep working it. And hopefully I can continue to be injury free and not get sick because I've just had thing after thing just kind of kicking my ass this year. But kind of the way it goes, you just got to learn to fight through it and uh, what the best ways to you know, rehab to avoid injuries or to take vitamins or eat better or whatever it is to avoid getting sick. And it's just you know a, a process. But is what it is anyway i'm excited thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video leave a like and if you really enjoyed it subscribe for more i'll be back hopefully soon with another video i'm headed to miami tomorrow morning 
Um, we're going for ACC's. I'm just going to record some videos there and some things. But I'll try to get some stuff in my own training. Try to post a video or at least get some videos of the other throwers and things that maybe they're thinking about just to get a different perspective on things. So uh, you guys got some different content to watch. Anyway, thanks a lot. I'll see you guys in the next one.